Here's a machine you'll find on more farms in the United States than any other combine ever built. The popular and famous All Crop Harvester. For many years, the Model 66 and the Model 60 before it have consistently averaged one out of every three sales in the home-owned and operated pool-type market. Let's see why and how this machine, backed by nearly a quarter century of combine building experience, has gained the confidence and acceptance of farmers the world over. First, the ability to handle such a wide variety of crops, from light seeds to heavy beans, the reason behind the name All Crop Harvester. Here's a big bin machine working in small grain. Oats to be exact and doing a good job. Fast and clean. Here's another one in soybeans. A crop that's still growing in total acreage and bigger yields. The 66 has plenty of header width to handle two rows of beans. As well as other row crops such as maize and kaffir. And gentle rubber on rubber shelling means less crackage, better grade. Saving high-priced seeds, such as this beautiful stand of clover, means extra profits to this all-crop owner. Handling the crop direct can save you more of these valuable seeds, make you more money. A full line of windrow equipment is also available. For crops and conditions where windrow pickup equipment is required, there is a choice of pickup attachments, including this rubber draper type which picks up fast and clean. If you so desire, a corn head to fit your big bin 66 is also available. There's a definite trend in this direction. More farmers everywhere are making dual use of their all crop by interchanging grain header with corn head. It's a system that holds great promise in the future. And this is the lowest cost outfit available to do the job. It has the capacity of most self-propelled at a fraction of the cost. We could go on showing field scene after field scene of various crops. But let's back up for a moment and see how easy it is to change this machine from one job to another, one crop to another. One of the big secrets of all crop harvester success is its simplicity. It's easy to adjust and easy to operate. Yet it does an expert job of threshing and saving. Let's follow the operator through the steps of getting ready to go to the field. First, he selects the proper finishing sieve, depending on the crop to be harvested. He sets the adjustable chaffer with convenient lever and wing nut. Does the same thing with the adjustable sieve. He puts in the finishing sieve, which he has chosen for the crop, and the shoe is set. Note the three levels of cleaning in this full width shoe. Matched to the rack, balanced in separating capacity. Next, he sets the air control. Only the all crop harvester has sawtooth wind valves to regulate both volume and direction of air. Do a better cleaning job, regardless of crosswinds. Having started the tractor, the power takeoff speed must now be checked and set at 535 RPM. A tachometer and watch are used for this job. It's important because all other machine speeds are based on this 535 figure. Finally, he checks cylinder speed again using the tachometer and watch. Settings are made with the handy quick speed changer. Turn the crank and speed is changed instantly. You can make changes in the field to match varying conditions. Convenient side gauges help make spacing adjustment easier and more accurate. Actually, that's all there is to it. Even if you've never run a combine before, you'll do a good job of cleaning and saving with an all-crop harvester. Look at this. Another actual field scene. Not in ideal conditions, 
but in the kind of going every farmer is faced with many times. Look closely at that feeding job. The crop is down. It's tangled. Tough to handle. You've probably seen plenty of machines that would pull out of here. How can the 66 do it? The answer is simple. The feeding system is the best ever developed for a combine. We call it wide flow feeding. It starts with the down sloping guards that literally comb the ground. From the sickle, the crop is delivered straight back by the rubberized conveyor belt draper, taking it right to the cylinder the way it was grown. No bunching, no bottlenecking. Wide sickle, wide header, wide cylinder. The natural way, the sensible way, the low cost way to feed a machine of this type. From here on, the crop is processed by rubber on rubber threshing. Five feet wide cylinder, air blast separation, step up rack, and a three level shoe with sawtooth valves as previously pointed out. The complete system in an all crop is known as four-way balanced capacity that assures smooth, even crop flow from sickle to bin without a single bottleneck encounter. And here's the payoff. A clean sample that grades high. You save more at lower cost. 300,000 farmers can't be wrong. They like all crop performance and they like its low price and low operating costs. We're proud of this machine and the record it has made in helping more farmers to farm more profitably. You'll be proud of it too. It's the greatest dollar value in combines today.